My name's Vanessa and I've been fostering teenagers for Dudley for around about 10 years. What I love about fostering teenagers is the fact that it's their personality. Whether they're being argumentative, whether they're being talkative or whether they're being defiant, I love the fact that they've got their own personality. People's always said to me, why is it that I foster? And I've always turned around and said, well, you know something, if it was up to me, when I was raising my own son as a solo carer, there could have been opportunities where he could have ended up in care. And I'd have liked the idea that somebody was out there like myself who could have taken him on board and had him as part of their own family. What I love about teenagers is the fact that you don't get that thank you. You don't get that, oh, I love you and so on and so forth. But you do get that, do you want my last sweet? Are you going to come and watch my play? And which, when you get that odd Mother's Day card, those are the things that enriches me. So that's the things that I love about having teenagers in my home. Talking of teenagers, people's always ask me, why is it that I foster? And what do I like about it? And how has it enriched our family? What I think more than anything else is that my mum said that was a bit mean, that I only had one child. But I think now she's got a household full of grandchildren, which she absolutely loves. We come from a big family anyway, and it's just fitted in naturally. We once took one of our children, our, um, the little girl, to the seaside and I think that, for me, it was when she stood alongside me and we were getting our feet wet and she said, I'd never seen the sea before. And I thought to myself, something that we take for granted, we jump on a plane, we go on holiday all over the place and yet she's been within this country for years and she's never even seen it. That to me was so overwhelming. Even now when I think about it, I get emotional. One, um, I always remember the very first child moving on and he'd lived with us for about three and a half years and we had a lot of bumps in the road occasionally with him because he was very challenging at times. However, when, he when it came to the time for him to be moving on, I was crying, he was crying, it was so emotional. But we moved him on successfully and he still keeps in touch now and I think more than anything else what I love is the fact that he still keeps in touch with my son they're on Facebook together, they've FaceTimed each other and you know being the first child and moving on the first child I don't think I could have done that without the support of Dudley. People seem to shy away from fostering teenagers and I'm not sure why that is. Yes they come with their challenges occasionally but it's no different to anybody else, no different to any other teenager that we know of today. Um, what I think I like more than anything else is when they come back as an adult and they bring their own child and you see them parenting. So what are we really? We're just a stepping stone to their adult life. So if you are going to foster, seriously think about fostering teenagers. They enriched my life and they will enrich yours.